Why do you guys believe that exactly where you are isn't where you're supposed to be? Why do you believe that you should be further along in life? You should have done so much more. Why the fuck is that such a narrative placed in so many people's minds? I got out of prison with 200 bucks at 30 fucking five, having to live at my grandma's house in the same room as my parents. I didn't fucking care. And that's why I'm successful because I was grateful for that. When you learn to be grateful for every fucking moment you have, gratitude opens the door to higher intelligence. When you're grateful, you tap into these thoughts. I'm grateful that I can even serve you guys every fucking day. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for giving me this outlet to be able to speak to you, to let me into your life. I would do it regardless. I need it. I fucking need it. People always say, Wes, you get to do what you love. This isn't what I love to do. I have trouble finding what I love. I don't really love anything. I live a life of purpose. Love is all around you when you live a life of purpose. You love even what you don't even like. You learn to exist in a, a pattern of servitude to where pleasure rots you from the inside out. And service and thinking of others fulfills you to your core. I can only have a certain amount of pleasure in my day, very small. Once I exceed the bounds of moderation, the greatest pleasure cease to please. I have a crazy life. I can do whatever I want, but I have to limit myself. That's why a lot of the top richest people and most successful people train really hard now. And they, they don't engage in vices. They're not... Most of them aren't overweight anymore. You see, they're very top people. They're really taking care of themselves because that's the only way they can enjoy those small, sporadic pleasures. It's got to be purpose over pleasure. And it's got to be sparingly. You've been given a gift. I've been given a gift. And it's this moment. If you're grateful for this moment, you'll be able to create a better next one. If you're ungrateful for this moment, you'll destroy this moment and destroy the next one. So it's, everything is about momentarily capitalizing on the energy of this moment. So many times lately I've been on the yacht and uh, we eat a lot. In Miami, we eat a lot. And it's not, it's new to me because I always eat so little. It's almost, it's giving me digestive issues to where I have like hiccups and di indigestion all the time. But I don't even believe in that. I believe it's telling me to get back to that sacrificial state where I'm eating less. I don't think of it as like a physical issue. Everything I think of as like the universe or God telling me that I'm better the other way. Even when people talk about the algorithm on YouTube or Instagram or something, I'm like, you guys really believe in the algorithm? Like, don't you think God or the universe would override the fucking algorithm? if it's a message from somebody's soul, because I believe in the universe. I believe in God. I believe that if the message is pure, it can't be stopped. And I hate when you guys, when someone says they believe in God, you're like, what God? And you have to make it some shit like that. I believe in a source. And I know that source We'll get the message out when the message is aligned. So I don't believe in algorithms. That's why even when I teach on my coaching programs, I'm like, no, if a man is right, his world will be right. If a man's message is pure and powerful, it'll permeate the internet. They're like, but what about on Tuesday at nine o'clock? No Tuesday at nine o'clock, you stupid motherfucker. I'll post back to back to back to back and get bangers. Because I felt it in my soul and I couldn't hold it back. And then if the video doesn't do good, I didn't fucking care. It needed to go to those people. I don't give a shit. Sometimes I have clients who are like, my views are going down. I'm like, 
My views went from 3 million to 10,000. I never even noticed. I just remembered that I had to make a video again. I had to share it with you guys. But right now I have to share with you guys that gratitude is the sole emotion that opens the door to infinite intelligence. Infinite intelligence is the source energy that guides us. When you tap into infinite intelligence and you're that antenna, you know all the wisdom from every moment that our plane of existence has been in existence. You, you know everything from every moment instantaneous. So the wisdom that we derive from infinite intelligence can only be taken in from someone who has a grateful heart, someone who's operating with a pure soul and zero karmic debt. See, the karmic debt blocks all that. You can't really stand still and be that antenna. People always wonder, oh, well, how do you make these messages? They're not me, I'm a vessel, I'm nothing. Who the fuck is Wes Watson? The second you really wanna get somewhere, throw yourself the fuck away. Your ego, your fears, everything about you, and just sit. And really don't think about your problems. Elevate yourself with a workout or helping someone. When you're in that really high frequency state, that's just right. And define yourself there, you guys. Define yourself in that high frequency state, not a low frequency state. Most people are like, that's me. And it's like their lowest version of self. I hate that. I hate that for you guys. Because I only see you guys at your highest version. That's my gift. It's a curse as well. Because I only see you guys at your highest version of self. And that you don't see it, it really pisses me off. I only see myself at my highest version. So I'm always working to create and surpass that man. I love you guys. It's really late right here. I didn't realize I didn't film a video and it's 11.06. Sometimes I'll set my alarm, I'll go to sleep. And then I'll get back up to shoot a video. Just to be in a different state of mind, different state of consciousness. When your intention is pure, you can never be wrong. I love you guys. Let's go!